American Musical Theater pays its respects to the memory of Mr. Otto Harbaugh with Pembroke Davenport and the CBS Orchestra. With Ralph Curtis. The night was made for love. The night was made for love. Like caressing an empty glass. Lois Hunt. She didn't say yes, she didn't say no, she didn't say stay, she didn't say go, she only knew that his spies were there, and that she knew he tracked his spies were there. So what did she do? I leave it to you. She did jump for you too. And Earl Wrightson. with students from the high schools of the city of New York. And the host for the workshop, Earl Wrightson. Well, our opening songs are known and loved all over America, and they share one thing in common. The lyrics were written by a giant of the American musical theater, Mr. Otto Harbach. For more than 50 years, Mr. Harbach had brought pleasure and beauty into the lives of the American people. And when he died on January 24th at the age of 89, People all over the country paid sincere tribute to a man who symbolized the magic of a bygone era. Today, we would like to pay our respects to the Dean of Librettus. We'd like to recall the long, rich, happy years in the life of that beloved gentleman of the theater. And we'll start with Otto Harbach, age two. Otto Harbach was born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah. His parents were natives of Denmark, and his father had reached Salt Lake City by ox cart during the Civil War period. Otto was one of eight children, seven boys and a girl. Here we see him in a typical family portrait of the period, standing between his mother and father. There were still only six children when this picture was taken. At 19, Otto Harbach was busy working his way through Knox College in Galesburg, Illinois. He got his B.A. in 1895, and three years later, his master's degree in English. He couldn't know then that in later years, his alma mater would construct a theater named in honor of her famous alumnus. Here to the left is Otto Harbach when he was active in the debating society at college. In his senior year, he won the coveted interstate prize for oratory. After college, he taught English and public speaking at Whitman College in Walla Walla, Washington. In 1901, he headed for New York, where he planned to take his PhD at Columbia University. But his scholarship funds were insufficient to continue his studies, and instead he became a news reporter and later an advertising copywriter. And then he found the unexpected career in the theater. This is Karl Hoschner, the composer, Otto Harbach's dear friend and first collaborator in the musical theater. In 1907, they had their first big hit on Broadway, The Three Twins, and they worked together until Hoschner's death in 1911. After that, Otto Harbach went on to work with every notable composer in the theater. First, there was Rudolf Frimmel, 
a newcomer to Broadway when he joined Harbach to write the enchanting operetta, The Firefly. Later, Harbach wrote the lyrics for Louis Ger Hirsch, Gershwin, Romberg, Humans, and Jerome Kern. Together, Kern and Harbach created magic moments in the theater. And it was in their musical, Roberta, that the public first heard the song that has since become an American classic, the lovely Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. The theater was Mr. Harbach's love, but so were his home and his family. On December 4th, 1918, Otto Harbach married the lovely Ella Smith of Salt Lake City, his hometown. It was a happy marriage that lasted for 45 years and included two fine sons, William and Robert Harbach, and three grandchildren. Otto Harbach devoted years of service to ASCAP, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. He was one of the charter members, along with such theater greats as Irving Berlin, Victor Herbert, Jerome Kern, and John Philip Sousa. Otto Harbach served ASCAP as a member, a director of the board, a vice president, and finally as president of the society as we see him here. Otto Harbach had a great capacity for friendship. His willingness to help newcomers to Broadway was fully recognized by theater people. Here is Oscar Hammerstein, himself a giant in the musical theater. In a birthday letter to Mr. Harbach, Oscar Hammerstein once wrote, you have been the guiding star to many younger writers who have followed you. None of these is so indebted to you as I am. And here is the most recent portrait of Otto Harbach, Dean of Librettists, a warm, modest, literate gentleman who made the world a happier, far more gracious place to live in. Well, you know, in recent years, it's become the, the smart thing to spoof the operettas of Otto Harbach's day. Well, perhaps we've become a little too smart because those old musicals had a charm, a beauty, and grace that delighted the audience of the past, and they're still delighting audiences of today.
was a man who loved words and he knew their power. Even before men like Larry Hart and Ira Gershwin were changing the trite patterns of the Tin Pan Alley lyric, Otto Harbach was writing songs that were literate, had meaning, and were in excellent taste.
today as when they were written, some of them as many as 50 years ago. We'd like to recall a few of those songs that we're still singing today. Today, sure, today. <laughs> Some sort of clinging by. 
song that is most close, closely associated with Otto Harbach is the lovely Smoke Gets in Your Eyes from Roberta. The words of the song are pure poetry. On one occasion, when Mr. Harbach was the guest of the workshop, we had the rare privilege of hearing him recite these words. We'd like to share that memorable moment with you now. And so we'll roll back time and tape to bring you Mr. Otto Harbach and his poetic lyric, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. They asked me how I knew my true love was true. I, of course, replied, something here inside cannot be denied. They said, someday you'll find all the love of blind. You must realize when your heart's on fire, smoke gets in your eyes. So I chaffed them and I laughed to think they could doubt my love. But uh, today, my love has flown away. I am without my love. Now, laughing friends deride the tears I cannot hide. So I smile and say, it's when a lovely flame dies that smoke gets in your eyes. They asked me how I knew my true love was true. I, of course, replied, something here inside cannot be denied. They said someday you'll find all who love are blind. Otto Harbach was truly the dean of the American musical theater. As a lyricist, he brought the touch of the poet to the line of a song. As a man, he was warm and sympathetic human being. It's been said that there was no winter in Otto Harbach's thinking, only springtime. And so as, let us remember him happily as a man who brought joy into the lives of millions of people, the very distinguished gentleman, Mr. Otto Harbach. The American Musical Theater is produced by WCBS-TV in cooperation with the Board of Education of the City of New York. Today's program featured Pembroke Davenport and the CBS Orchestra with singers Lois Hunt, Ralph Curtis, and the host for the workshop, Earl Wrightson. The students participating on today's program are from the high schools of the City of New York.